everyone, how are you guys doing? If you're new here, my name is Danny Christine. I am a childcare business owner, consultant, and a digital content creator on childcaresites.com, where you can find resources for childcare professionals such as yourself. Whether you are a home daycare provider, a center operator, or a multi-site childcare business owner like myself, you can take advantage of the resources on childcaresites.com, especially if you're in the startup phase. You can get access to free webinars, worksheets, podcast episodes hosted by myself and my co-host Gigi, and you can get access to low-cost courses to help you start, grow, expand, and operate your childcare businesses. Before we get into the tour within today's video, I'm so excited to announce that on January 1st, 2021, just a few weeks away, I will be releasing yet another course. This course is called Five Steps to Open a Five-Star Childcare Business. It is a five-week self-paced course that you can stop and start as you please. If you're watching this video and you've thought about or are in the startup process for opening a childcare business, whether that's in your home or in a different house that you might lease out for your program, or a center-based location in a commercial property, whatever your interest is within the childcare business, this course is for you. It will be helpful for you regarding the licensing process, finding a location, marketing, and getting new kids in the door. This is a all-in-one course to help you during that startup phase. The reason why I'm sharing information about this course so many weeks in advance is because I wanted to do a special pre-order sale for you. When this course gets released on January 1st, the cost will be $250. However, if you were to purchase any time between now and December 31st, you will get it for $100 off. That's right, you can purchase the course today at a price of $150. And as soon as it's released on January 1st, you can begin. And like I said before, it is self-paced, meaning that you can stop and go as you please. And it'll be a great time. So check the description box for information about the course and how to purchase it. You could also go to childcaresites.com directly to purchase it and I'm so excited for you. So now let's get into the tour. Oh, but before we start, scroll down and hit that subscribe button. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, you're missing out. And while you're down there, click that notification bell so that you can be notified every single time I post a new video. If this is your first time seeing any of my videos, welcome i have tons and tons of videos for you to watch on the channel that you can enjoy if you are interested in the business of child care including a tour of my first center-based location about two years ago i showed you guys around my first center and you really enjoyed it it is one of the top viewed videos on my channel i have so many comments coming in on that video daily and i am often asked to show tours of my centers so that's why i wanted to bring you this tour of my second center-based location today so now let's get into it so this is our front office where all the administrative work gets done. It's pretty open concept. There's no doors closing it off to the hallway. As you walk past the office, here is our kitchen area. We do not cook on site. We actually have our meals catered and delivered every day. That's why there is no stove or oven. And we also use this room for storage and a break room for our teachers. My second childcare center is about 10 minutes away from the first. I currently operate both, they're both open, and it's about half the size, so it's a little smaller. Currently, this location is licensed for 44 children. We're thinking about adding a little space to increase that capacity a bit more in the future, but right now it sits at 44, and we currently have about 36 children enrolled, if I'm not mistaken. 
This is the first classroom that I'd like to show you guys. Disclaimer, it is the weekend. We have not cleaned up yet. I just know that if I waited until everything was perfect, this tour would never get done. So I'm just showing you as it is. This is our pre-K room and also we have a little area in here for school aged children uh, that are doing remote learning with us for the full day due to the pandemic. This location has four different classrooms, an infant room, a toddler room, a preschool room, and a school age room. So we provide care for children as young as six weeks old through 12 years old. And typically the school age children in grades K to six that are around five to 12 years old are would be in our program for before and after school care, but because of the pandemic going on, they're here for remote learning full time. This is our infant class. It is pretty big in comparison to our first location. There's a lot of space, way more square footage than is required for the maximum number of infants in one room. So that is great. Again, it is the weekend and we were in the middle of cleaning. So please excuse the mess and everything not being organized, but that was our infant room. I know this question might be asked, so to get ahead of it, personally, I started off in the childcare industry in 2010, a decade ago. I was a preschool assistant teacher for a local daycare within my hometown until 2014 when I ventured off to open my own childcare business, which was a group family daycare out of my home. Since 2014, I have opened and gone through the licensing process for four different locations in New York, two of which were home daycares and the last two were center-based locations, the one you're seeing now and the one from my first daycare tour. Back in 2018, I closed down my home daycare location so that I could focus only on my center-based program and the expansion of that, which I did in 2020. A few months ago throughout the summer, I worked on the expansion of my center from the first location to now operating two. And it has been a struggle, it has been stressful, but it has been so much fun. So this room that you are seeing here is actually our toddler room. Again, very messy and unorganized because it was the weekend and we were cleaning up, uh, but this is the space that we use for our children 18 months to right before they turn three years old. So we actually had to create somewhat of a makeshift hallway space which is what you're seeing here to separate our toddler room from what is on the other side of this half wall this is another preschool room for our three and four year olds the tables are pushed to the corners because we were mopping the floor um, but that is a room a smaller preschool room just like our first location, this second center has a pretty decently sized outdoor play area in the backyard. We also have two other adjacent yards kind of fence off that we can use for storage or different events or different things. So it's nice and convenient to have a space sectioned off away from children. So it kind of feels like we have three different backyards in a sense. And we also have a parking lot, which is different than our first location. We've never had a parking lot before, so we're getting used to having to fight off people from parking in our spaces and going off to other stores or businesses because it can be inconvenient at times when we do need all of our spots. But for the most part, it is super convenient to have this parking lot. It's great for having events outdoors to be visible to passer buyers on the street or in cars or walking on the sidewalk. Another highlight that I love about our second center is this big long entryway where we can keep the cubbies and this is where we accept children from their parents in the morning. It's very convenient. I actually opened my second center within about 
30, I wanna say 37, 38 days. I have a video on it from a, a few weeks ago. But I was able to get through the licensing process so quickly because I was so prepared this time around. And within less than three months, we're already sitting at 80% of our capacity in enrollments. It took us like a year to get to that point the first time around. For me, the startup process and the licensing process is the most fun part of the business. I'm always seeking new opportunities to expand and this is why I was so excited to bring this course to you guys. I will help you to avoid many of the mistakes that I made the first time around. That is all for this video, you guys. If you enjoyed it, please, please, leave a thumbs up, scroll down, click that subscribe button, let me know your favorite part. I am always open for constructive criticism. If you have a suggestion of what we can put where to make what room better, leave it in the comments below and just share your thoughts in general. I got some great ideas from you guys over the past couple of years after I uploaded my first daycare center tour, so I'm looking forward to those suggestions as well. And please, please do do not let time run out. I want you to save $100 on the course, Five Steps to Open Your Five Star Childcare Business. I wanna take you through finding the perfect location for your business, how to get through the licensing process successfully and quickly, how to market your business, how to find your ideal families, and just overall how to be successful during your startup process. If you're interested in those types of things, click the link in the description for more information or visit childcaresites.com. Also, if you'd like, you can book me for a private video consultation by going to childcaresites.com slash Danny Christine, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.